Hi, my name is Mrs. Sofietti, and I'm here to tell you that Jesus loves you, and Jesus wants you, no matter how bad you can get. I'm here with my children, B, George, Tita, and Marjorie, and we have a question for you. Can you guess which one of us can sometimes be nasty, grumpy, fussy, throw a fit, scream at others, be nasty to others, and not do what she's supposed to do? Can you guess which one of us it is? It's me. I'm the mom and I do all that terrible stuff. I do something terrible and then I feel terrible. I feel worthless. I feel unlovable and I just feel overwhelmed and I want to quit. Do you guys ever feel that way? Yeah. Do you ever feel that way? Do you ever do something terrible and then feel terrible? Worthless? Not lovable? Well, I'm here to tell you, that's not true. How do I know it's not true? When I want to know what's true, I look in the Bible. So, in the Bible, there's a story that I want to share with you. Hey, do you guys remember last week learning about Stephen? Yeah. yeah. Do you remember that he was killed for telling others about Jesus? Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Well, while he was being killed, there was a man there named Saul. He was watching Stephen get killed. Saul didn't like Christians. He wanted to kill Christians. He wanted to put them in jail and sometimes kill them. So while Saul was on the road saying terrible things about Jesus' followers, Christians, you stinkers. <laughs> Saul had friends with him on the road to Damascus looking for Christians. Hey, all. When suddenly a bright light from heaven shone on Saul, he fell to the ground and he heard a voice say, Saul, Saul. one of Jesus' followers, he was actually hurting Jesus. So Jesus said, Get up, go to the city, and you will be told what to do. Now, something weird happened. Saul found that he was now blind. He couldn't see anything. So his friends, who couldn't hear Jesus, or who couldn't see Jesus, but could hear him talking, helped Saul off and took him into the city. There, Jesus told one of his helpers, Ananias, to go to Saul and say, Brother Saul, the Lord sent me to put my hand upon you to give you the Holy Spirit. And then something really weird happened. Something like scales fall, fell from Saul's eyes and then he could see again. Oh! He was blind, but now he could see. So, Saul got up, was baptized, <laughs> and began preaching about Jesus. You know the Lord. <laughs> Wait a minute. The same bad guy who was doing bad stuff to God's people was now sharing God with other people? No matter how bad Saul got, Jesus still loved him. No matter how bad Saul got, Jesus still wanted him. And guess what? That means no matter how bad you are, Jesus still wants you. He still loves you. And that's a truth from the Bible. Should we pray? Yeah! Dear Lord. Dear Lord. Thank you. Thank you. For loving me. For loving me. No matter what. No matter what. Help me. Help me. To live. To live. For you. For you. Amen. Amen.